Number seven in the ammonia molecule of this figure over here, three hydrogen atoms form an equilateral triangle with the center of the triangle at distance d equals to 9.4 times 10 to the minus 11 meters from each hydrogen atom. The nitrogen atom is at the apex of a pyramid with the three hydrogen atoms forming the base. The nitrogen to hydrogen atomic mass ratio is 13.9 and the nitrogen to hydrogen distance is L equals to 10.14 times 10 to the minus 11 meters. What are letter A, the X, and letter B, the Y coordinates of the molecular center of mass? This exercise is kind of simple. You just have to use a nice strategy. And our strategy here is to split the system like this and analyze first the three hydrogen atoms alone. So if you look then above, from above, you're going to see an equilateral triangle with the hydrogen atoms like this. And you can notice that the center of mass of this system, composed by only the three hydrogen atoms, is at the center of this triangle over here. So the center of mass of the system, composed by only the three hydrogen atoms, is at the origin of our coordinate system. So instead of calculating the center of mass for the four particles, the four atoms, we're going to calculate the center of mass of a system composed by one nitrogen atom over there and three hydrogen atoms over here. So it's much easier to do the calculation if you notice that the center of mass of the three hydrogen atoms falls on the origin of our coordinate system over here. So that's our strategy and the exercise is pretty straightforward from now on. So we only have two different particles and the only thing that we need now is the masses, but we don't know their masses. Well, you could look up on Google to find their masses, but we don't need them. We know the ratio from nitrogen to hydrogen atomic mass ratio is 13.9. So we are going to call the hydrogen mass MH and the mass of the nitrogen is equal to 13.9 mass of the hydrogen, right? So that's the only information that we need. Uh, there, there is only one thing else that we have to calculate. It is this distance over here. Let me call it age. age. I'm not sure if age is a good choice, but Anyway, so if you notice, we have another triangle over here. So this is L, this is D, and this is H. We are going to need H and H. So let's use Pythagorean theorem over here. So L squared is equal to H squared plus D squared. So H is going to be the square root of L squared minus D squared. Okay, okay so now we can solve our problem. Let's go for letter A. The, the x position of the center of mass, the x coordinate of the center of mass is this is 1 over the sum of the masses times the sum of i equals to 1 until n of mi xi. And in this case, the sum of the masses is the mass of the three hydrogens, so 3mh plus the mass of the nitrogen atom, 13.9 mH. And we have to multiply this by the mass of the three hydrogens times their position, the x coordinate, which is zero, right? Plus the mass of the nitrogen atom times its coordinate, in its x coordinate, which is zero as well. So the answer of letter A is zero, of course, right? So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, we're going to use almost the same equation. So it is one over the sum of the masses times the sum of i equals one until n of m i y i. So this is one. Let's sum the masses because they are the same. So this is 16.9 m h times 3 times m h times 
zero again plus let me find a little bit more space over here plus the mass of the hydrogen atom times the mass of the hydrogen times their position in the y direction which is h which is the square root of L squared minus D squared. So that's the calculation that we have to do, but we, you can notice that you can cross out MH, that's why we don't need to look up for the mass of the atoms. So this is equal to one over 16.9, which multiplies 13.9 times the square root of L squared. So 10.14 times 10 to the minus 11 squared minus d which is 9.4 times 10 to the minus 11 don't forget to square it and if you do this calculation over here you would find let's see you would find roughly 3.13 times 10 to the minus 11 meters and that's the answer of letter B